We're going to learn Likutei Halachot a little bit today. Let's see where we're holding in Likutei Halachot. We're in Halacha Dalet, the fourth Halacha in the morning um, prayer. In the morning um, rules of the mornings. So, Idgaber Kari, a person should wake up in the morning, that he will be the one to wake up dawn. I imagine Hashem in front of me standing always is a very fundamental rule that a person should have while serving Hashem. And the rule is that every person should look very, very much after a great teacher who will guide him, a rabbi that will be in a very high level that he, that teacher, that holy rabbi, will be able to illuminate in him godliness, uh, godly wisdom, godly achievements. Because godly achievements cannot be achieved in any other way but through some main constrictions that are in the aspect of circles and introductions. Like the teacher who is teaching the child and as much as the child is smaller, lower in his level and wisdom, the teacher needs to explain to him that concept in more details, in more in more in depth. And if a person is even more sick than another person, he needs a greater doctor. Means that for spirituality, the person needs a greater teacher, a greater rabbi that will be so great that he can heal him as well. And he will be able to go with you in those circles of your life to, for him to bring in godly achievements to your mind for you to understand your way out from your troubles and your way into holiness and purity. And it's explained over there that those constrictions, that they are in the aspect of like uh, preparations, introductions, that by them we are coming to godly understandings, they are in the aspect of lower wisdom, in the aspect of kingship, in the aspect of hairs, in the aspect of quantities, um, measures of the letters of the Torah. In the aspect of dark hairs, hairs that are in circles, in the aspect of what that is written in the book of Shlomo Melech, Shechora Ani Venava, the song of all songs, I'm dark but I am beautiful. That that is the aspect of Avraham, our father, that established the prayer of Shacharit, the morning prayer. So when Rabbi Nathan is writing here, that is the aspect of this and that is the aspect of that. It means that there are great wisdoms in it, and he's bringing the sources here, if it's from the Zohar Kadosh, or if it's from um, the Gemara, or from the verses of the Prophets. And the person should revive the kingship by the light of the illumination, the light of the illumination of the face that is shining in the three holy days, Pesach, Sukkot, and Shavuot. And sometimes the kingship that is in aspect of four to four foreign kingships that are foreign wisdoms. And who can stand the grief and the sorrow and the loud voice of that scream when the kingship is falling between them among those four foreign kings? It's the scream of the foolish, uh, full um, leader that the, the leader that is full, is a fool, that he is the Yetzirah, he wants to overpower, he wants to increase his wisdom and to take control of the kingship. And he is not really qualified for that, therefore he is forcing the kingship of heavens to be surrendered to him. And we need to cut the kingship of heavens from those four foolish leaders. And that is by kindness that is revealing itself by the rebuke. Look over there in that Torah, um, Torah 30 in Likutei Moran. Rabbi Nachman is talking about that over there. Now, it means that holiness is a great potential. 
and like Hashem existence, for an example, the fact that there is Hashem, that there is a king to the universe, is a known fact and it's a blessing. Now, when foreign people that are not worthy to really lead the truth seekers, the people that are seeking for the truth, um, when they try to control and they want to lead the world, they need to pretend to hold the deepest wisdom and the, and the God and to own the godly achievements when really they are just like not as wise and not really holy and pure and capable of leading and controlling the kingship and like crowning the, the creation. And therefore they need to force all the goodness to, un, to be under their hands, for them to use it to pretend like they are the real leaders, the proper leaders of the world. And all of that is taking place in the morning, because then in the morning the sun is rising, that is the aspect of the rising of the dawn, that is the aspect of kingship, like it's written in the Zohar, lower wisdom, that is called dawn. Because it's constricting the sight that all godly achievements are by it. You can see and achieve godly achievements only in power of sight. Even if it's the power of sight of your mind, you still visualize those things. So at darkness, you cannot see anything. But when the dawn is rising, when the sun is rising, then you can start seeing. So the aspect of seeing um, that is the aspect of um, the lower wisdom, like we explained that by that lower wisdom, the teacher of the lower student is able to teach him because he's breaking down the wisdom for him to details and by that he's planting wisdom into him. So it's called lower wisdom because it's going and feeding the ones that are in the lowest levels of them all. So that is the aspect of the rising of the dawn, the aspect of the morning, because in the morning, the sun is rising and the light is shining and we can start seeing like that the students start to see and able to understand and to grasp the godly achievements by his teacher that taught him long teachings in simple words. Like that we just did right now. So, and therefore, a person must overpower and get stronger very much to stand up early in the morning to learn Torah and to pray that the aspect of dawn will rise and shine spiritually in the aspect of lower wisdom, in the aspect of the honor of Hashem that is waking up in dawn for the person to get that aspect of godly achievement, to know him, it barach, that he is the source of blessing, that for that we were created, because every person must come to that level for him to know Hashem, because only for that we came to this world, and all the worlds were created only for that, for him to be completely known to us, that Hashem will be known to his people, for that he created us. Thank you. Thank you. You know me, my name is RDMC, with the Muna Project, all the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth, don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself. Your own true self Don't let no one take our natural wealth See the good No fear, no despair Cherish who that you are And share Source of power From an endless spring Light up courage In yourself you They can be. kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are Put up your crown King of the creator Holy soul inside Focus on the spiritual